Dinner and a Movie is brought to you by Hamilton Walkers. The mother of all monster movies and a low-budget horror film are available for your viewing pleasure this weekend. And here to review both of them, Godzilla vs. Kong and The Unholy is film critic Chuck Kaplinski. You're uh, missing your other half. I'm not going to comment on beyond that, but <laughs> good for you. Sometimes we do in the reverse. She's here without you, but... We're starting. We're, we're gonna. We're gonna. We're not gonna sink to that level. Oh, we're gonna say okay. that. Gonna the better half thing. is here. We're not gonna say that. No. Gonna say that. You did well with Mother of All Monster movies. I, tried. I thought that was gonna trip you up. I tried, Chuck. Oh, Chuck. You're set. Chuck, 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 Chuck. 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 Well, on that note, is. yes. Yeah. Is it really the Mother of All Monster movies? Is it that it, good? It is so stupid. It is an incredibly stupid movie. But who cares? Who oh. cares? We're not there. This isn't Hamlet. This isn't Citizen Kane. This is two big dumb monsters beating on each other and Godzilla vs. Kong. It delivers that. Let me tell you what. I mean, if you're looking for spectacle, if you're looking for a popcorn movie, this is it. And there he is. The special effects in this thing, my God. I mean, the leaps and bounds that the technology has gone. Kong is so incredibly expressive here. The things they have him doing. And there you see G. She is the only one who communicates with Kong, and we have a surprise here because she is deaf. She uses sign language, and guess what Kong has picked up on? Oh, sign language. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's a goofy plot in which apparently the Earth is hollow, if you didn't know that, <laughs> and there's a massive power energy source there, and they want Kong to lead them to this energy source. But there's a doctor played by Rebecca Hall who says that, well, we've got to keep him in hiding because Godzilla can sense when Kong's around and he's going to attack. We don't know why. We don't know care. But this is really cool because they're transporting Kong on an aircraft carrier and Godzilla attacks. And we're jumping from aircraft character, carrier to aircraft carrier. It's just so much fun. I can't even, I can't even stop it. Too. And the answer question I've always had about the Kong films, how do you transport a huge ape? Sure. They answer this question twice. Once with an aircraft carrier. And the other time, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, does this movie deliver? Boy, does it ever. The last half hour is just mayhem as Tokyo, of course, gets wiped out one more time. And a big cameo from a character from the Godzilla universe. Again, this is not going to tax your brain in any way, shape, or form. But if you're looking for fun, if you're looking for a big-time escapist film, we haven't had a movie like this in quite a long time. And I would say if you're comfortable enough, go out to the theaters to see this because it has to be on the biggest screen possible. I would oh, imagine wow. that would be very, very helpful. Okay, I'm sure Pam is sad to not be sharing about the unholy, so we'll let you. You know, she is because I didn't realize she said that her future second husband, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, is in this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize he was in line for this. <laughs> Mr. Morgan plays a reporter by the name of Jeffrey Dean, and this guy, well, he has a tattered reputation. He inv uh, investigates paranormal activities, and uh, he's not very well respected, but he gets a tip about a young woman named Alice in a small town in Pennsylvania. She seems as though she claims she sees the Virgin Mary and that she can actually commit miracles. And lo and behold, she can. She does some incredible things. Problem is, we come to find out that it's not the Virgin Mary she's seeing. She is seeing something else that has very other <laughs> intent where she and her congregation are concerned. This movie ended up being a little bit smarter than I thought it would be. It held my attention for 90 minutes. Morgan does a good job. This young actress playing Alice, catch her name. Her name is Cricket Brown. That's the actress's name. Remember her. She's very good here and here. She's about to pull off one of her miracles. I wish the special effects had been better. They're really cheesy and they kind of snapped me out of the spell every once in a while. But this was much better than I thought it would be. If you're looking for a B-movie horror film, you could do much worse than The Unholy. All right. Two okay. uh, reasonable reviews. Reasonably good ones, yeah. All right. We got and a bunch of uh, winners for yeah. contests. W Warner Brothers was very generous to us. They gave out 15 codes to go and see Godzilla Kong. I'm not going to read all the winners. You have been notified. Go out. Have a good time with this. And check out our Facebook page. We have another giveaway for a recent movie, Chaos Walking, coming up in the next week or two. Wow. Uh, well, congratulations to all of those winners. See, it mm -hmm. pays off to like Chuck and Pam on social media. We're good so, people. Yeah. All right. Go Sox. Go Sox. And um, we will connect everyone with what's happening there. Real Talk with Chuck and Pam so you can get all of your movie reviews as well as give them a follow on Facebook and all the other socials. We'll connect you. Stayliving.tv.